Um, you, you mentioned earlier on about people that may have doubts or, or questions about the um, the church or, or history or doctrine or, or whatever that might be. Uh, Terrell, I listened to, to a podcast you were on maybe about a year ago, and I think there was an occasion where somebody was pointed in your direction. I think maybe a sister missionary was pointed in your direction and you had a dialogue with her. There was yeah. some really good insight that I, that I got from some of the questions you had for her. It, it, is that something you recall? Yeah, I do. I recall yeah. it very vividly because in some ways it kind of launched us on this on this um, journey. Um, I was I was fortunate that I had a mission. There was a mission president in our area who knew us and our work. And there was a sister missionary who had decided that she was going to leave the church. She was finishing her mission the next week and she'd made the decision to, to go home and, and leave. And her companion, of course, deeply distraught over this and asked the mission president, could we go talk to, to Brother Givens? And he gave them permission to come and, and stay as long as they needed. So they stayed long into the night. And I listened to one after another question. And then finally, it occurred to me to ask this one question. And I said to her, in regard to one question in particular about Joseph Smith. And I said, sister, I said, why does the answer to that question matter? And it changed everything. She, it just caught her up short. And she thought for a minute and she said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And let me just quickly segue from that to another comparable moment, because it teaches, I think, the same principle. I, I, we were in Stockholm, I think, somewhere in Europe, and we were, we were staying, we actually stayed the night with a member who was on the verge of leaving the church. He had, he had tentatively made the decision to leave. And again, he's rehearsing his grievances and his problems with church history. And, and so I stopped him and I said, let me just ask you this question. I said, you have the priesthood, you have the ceilings in the temple, you have the scriptures, and you have modern prophets on the earth. Do you believe that you're lacking anything necessary for your personal progress back to God? And he thought a minute and he said, no. And I said, then why does any of this matter? Why are you asking these questions? 